Well, hello again, subscribers and new viewers to another Sunday Speed Paint. It is still the month of Pride, and I wanted to share more about my couple Alistair and Andy, and how they kind of came to be. It was actually because I was drawing Alistair in a lot of outgoing, extroverted exercise poses, I was just thinking, he needs someone to date. And when I was kind of thinking, all right, well, I also want to take into account the character themselves. If if they are non-binary and also gay, I wanted them to have an almost boyfriend made for them, but I also didn't want it to be awkward like I literally made them a boyfriend, so I wanted more personality and story for the two of them. So when I made Andy, initially they were just uh, neutral colors, but then I thought, what if, what if Andy gets a cute nickname from Alistair because they have pink fur naturally and everyone else doesn't understand it and that's why uh, Andy is shy at first. And I thought it would be super cute to rework how they met. Some of the previous drawings that I made a few years ago was that they were dancing or that they had little cutesy, flirty, embarrassing moments. I like to imagine that because of Alistair's exercise and confidence and other things, they like to encourage Andy and nickname them Candy to kind of just help them out of their shell and over time they started going on dates, they went to dance clubs together and just kind of helped each other out with things because also Andy is absolutely one of those flirty subs who will encourage the absolutely go out in just some nice smexy shorts <laughs> and show off but exclusively for me. Um, and Andy is just one of my favorite characters because they they absolutely embody the I ship it kind of feeling that I put into this character. I am, you know the song I don't care, I ship it. That is me. I love all of my characters and I will ship just about every single one of them with appropriate reasons, but if a character such as Andy and Alistair are together and I want them to be set for life, they are going to be sailing to marriage and potentially children depending on the situation of the characters and stories. I like to flesh out this stuff and I've noticed there's a large increase in like two stereotypical tropes nowadays especially in webcomics where it's uh they'll never be together because both of them can't speak up their mind and they're just gonna be like oh i love them but i can't but i mean i could but i can't and then the other types which is usually the i could totally fix him and it's usually the villain hooks up with the hero and those are nice i don't mind those those are those are absolutely great for panning out long felt stories and shenanigans but i prefer the shenanigans of the dom and the sub that encourage each other and they are a happy and healthy couple where i like to imagine that andy constantly likes to give alistair challenges and outfits and other fun shenanigans while also alistair absolutely teases but in a healthy way for how flustered Andy uh, Andy gets all the time and giving them the nickname Candy, just uh, also possibly cotton candy because of the pink fur that they have, but just little silly, cute, sweet things like that. And also just because they're actually one of the only other anthropomorphic couples that I have actually set in stone. A lot of my other characters are crack ships. I'll absolutely ship my heroes and villains with each other, but it's more of a one-off silly shenanigans because I know somebody out there one day is going to get a hold of my characters and break up all of the characters into crack ships, but I'm already doing that long beforehand. But I hope that you guys have enjoyed and let me know if you have any questions about Alistair and Andy. I am still planning on finishing the Legend of Zelda fan artwork soon. <laughs> I'd like to give a huge thank you to my wonderful patrons, including Frankie Jr. 13. Hold it right there, don't click off this video just yet. Why not check out some playlists of my videos while you wait for the next upload? And if you'd like to support my works and see more, click that link card down below. Patreon exclusive rewards for the Fennec Fox tier includes access to secret artwork, Arctic Foxes get shoutouts at the end of my videos, and early access to art and videos. Red Foxes have the opportunity to be featured when I need background characters or a commission instead. Subscribe for free if you have not already to join the Subscribler squad, and tag me in some of that artwork, and I'll share it in the Subscribler's gallery. Stay possum, and I'll see you later. Bye bye